painful morning this morning. But we got through it. I got my cast off. All I got now is this tape. My nose. Got those stitches out. Or they cut it here. And let me tell you about this experience real quick. But we're making good progress. I got another appointment in a week from today. To get the inside splints inside of my nose out. Because those are still in. So I can't really smile yet or really breathe through my nose that much but I did get the outside cast off and they put new tape on it and you know oh, 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 that hurt like nothing I felt in a long 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 time but all oh, that hurt my whole body was literally sweating my body was shaking too, and I literally almost fainted. It was that painful. I'm not even joking, man. It's not the stitches coming out that hurt. That was nothing. That was a tiny little pinch a couple times, maybe twice, at all the stitches they took out there. It was a little pinch, it felt like, but it wasn't anything crazy. This tape on my face is ridiculously sticky, man ridiculously sticky like it's like wax when brother was taking this off and my nose is still sensitive and vulnerable I don't want to feel that again he said it's not going to be as bad this time taking it off because last time they put extra stuff on it when they put it on that made it even more sticky so it makes sense why it was that sticky because it was literally like wax it took like five minutes alone just to bra that tape off bro and he was using a couple tools and everything and it was it was hell that sucked and what else happened that was not that comfortable um, we did that the stitches here putting peroxide and alcohol on it didn't really hurt that that stuff alone stinks people bro like i can tell you pain bro when i tell you this shit hurt taking this shit off oh yeah i'll tell you what else i just thought of it he squads my damn nose bro i did not know this was happening i had no idea what i was in for today going there i thought i was just taking that thing off I didn't know this tape was that sticky that it's like wax stuck to my face and that it takes that long to rip it off and it's like ripping my skin off my face didn't know that <laughs> today was a painful morning we had to take breaks and everything bro because it was that painful I was literally almost faint it was that painful and I just kept taking it caught my breath and recovered and <sighs> all right let's do it again until we did it um, the squeezing of the nose though oh this tape wasn't even on it it was bare and he was squeezing like this part of my nose like together like this way and he squeezed the tip extremely hard because there's a lot of like blood and stuff congested up there when it's just sitting still when it's recovering so he has to do that and he knows what he's doing too he's not being an idiot he does know what he's doing and it works. It just hurts like a motherfucker, bro. Holy shit. And he squaws that shit hard, bro, for like 20 seconds. Like four times. Like we had to take a break and do it again. Let it sit for a second and then do it again. And it was just... I was clinching every single thing in my body and just ready to faint. It was that painful. I'm not even joking, man. I had no idea about that and <laughs> uh, in a week from today I'm going back there and it's going to be another painful trip that should be the last of most of the pain because other than all that I'm feeling pretty good right now other than not being able to breathe that well
over my nose still because the nose splints are still up inside here. I can feel them right here. And it's not going to be, I don't think, that glorious or glamorous taking those out. But I don't think anything will be as bad as what I had to do today. I have to start squeezing my own nose myself three times per day. And it's not that bad when I do it myself. <laughs> he does it extremely hard, bro. But he knows what he's doing. He's got some unique ways to himself. And you can almost feel it. Like what he's doing when he's doing that kind of stuff. Like the results. You can feel what's happening to the nose. It obviously doesn't feel too good in that second, but what he's doing is working. So I guess what works, works. I'll tell you what right now. I would not want to do this again. No way. And I handled it all well. I just wouldn't want to do it again. Especially not anytime soon. Like this is a once in a lifetime type of thing. It's It was really only one tough day out of the recovery. And then today was fucking probably the worst, to be honest. It was pretty close. The, the, the worst day of recovery today, doing that kind of stuff, it was pretty close. Pretty damn close. I'm just passing a couple cars here. Just talking about it, bro, get, it starts making my blood pressure go up. Like, it's... It's pretty painful. I didn't find it all that uncomfortable. I found it more painful than uncomfortable. But the thing is, the pain doesn't last so rapidly for a long time. Like, there's just moments the whole thing that's like unbearable. But the moments come, you deal with it, and then they're gone. This is just not something I'd ever, ever do again. Like, if, if if I knew what I had to face going into this, I'm not sure I would have done it. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Like, if I had any advice for anybody going into something like this to fix your breathing, to fix a break in your nose where you got to break it again, like, you have to really want to get that shit done, bro. Like, if you really want to get it done bad and it's, like, really affecting your life, I say do it. If you can keep living the way you're going and you can live a pretty good life without doing it, I'd say do that. Because if you don't have to do it, don't. Definitely don't do that shit. The first couple days are the slow, like, it's, it's the slowest week of your entire life. The days are picking up now. The days are getting quicker. I have like a new lease of life in me. I feel lively again. Like I, I, I feel like I'm coming back to life. I can feel my spirit rise. I can feel my eyes healthier. Everything is going in that direction. But everything feels so slow. So groggy. So painful. Like your throat hurts. Your whole face hurts. Your nose hurts. Where they make the cuts in your nose here. And even on the insides. Sting a little bit and throb a little bit. And the nose here throbs a bit. Your whole head's on fire. Your whole forehead and your temples are like on fire. For a good bit. For days. Another piece of advice. Don't do this by yourself. Make sure you have somebody with you the first at least. I'd say 48 to 48 to about 
65 hours you want something there probably for the first at least three days I'd say because it's going to be very hard for you to maneuver it's going to be hard to get your foods and your liquids in by yourself because it's hard to get up and around it's hard to prepare yourself meals I had somebody with me the first three days and I don't know what the hell I would have done if I didn't have that I don't know it would have been extremely difficult you can't really bend down because all the pressure goes to your face and your nose and everything starts bleeding and it's not good you definitely want somebody with you it makes it a lot easier get them to get you a wet face cloth as cold as the water will go and put that shit over your forehead that helps a lot it brings a lot of the your head temperature down a lot the face cloth is going to get warm pretty quick because that's how hot your head is so you got to keep making it cold a bunch of different times at least every 45 minutes because it's going to get hot quick um, drink a shitload of liquids the first couple of days stay away from the solid foods until about at least day three or four eat a lot of fruit a lot of smoothies a lot of liquids a lot of Gatorades stay away from caffeine uh, if you do these things and you relax a lot you'll be fine I was smart about my stuff and I handled it well it's not nothing that crazy but I just wouldn't want to do it again personally probably because I just went through it and I want to get back to a normal life but if you prepare yourself mentally and you go through it, you can definitely get yourself through it. I'm coming out of the other end, on the other end now, and it's it went by so slow but fast at the same time. It does feel like a dream, but when you're in it, it's long. When you're in the thick of it, it's tough, and it's long. The pain comes and goes. Sometimes you have two hours of very uncomfortable type of pain, and then it'll go away from some painkillers. I took exactly 14 perks for all the painkillers that I took and the rest in Tylenol. Three Tylenol at once, 500 milligrams, so 1500 milligrams of Tylenol at once every like four hours. And then the 14 perks. So I probably took like 30 some Tylenol and like 14 perks in the first like six days. And you have to, man. You have to. I stopped taking the purse because I started to feel my stomach like. I, I probably gotta. I, I should probably stop doing that now. Type thing. I started getting cold sweats for like a couple hours from not taking those again. But I just. I don't know how people get addicted to that shit, bro. Like. Just stop taking the damn things, bro. It's not that hard. You'll feel uncomfortable for a. A little bit. If you do take enough painkillers, you will get addicted to them, but you just gotta stop and suck it up for a couple hours and you'll be fine. And I only took 14. I only had 20. I got, I got six left. I might take a damn perk an hour before I go into this next appointment because <laughs> it might help. It literally might help. I don't know though. It's not gonna be as bad as it's today's appointment. A week after, I don't think it's gonna be as bad. The second time, I think I'm past the worst. It'll be a bit uncomfortable taking these things out of my nose. I still don't know how that feels, but some people say it's painful, some people say it's not that bad. Just like the surgery, really, so I'll find out for myself. But this is my take for this surgery and I'll still talk about it a couple more times probably um, just with certain things but I can breathe again and articulate myself a little bit better but I'm getting better I'm really getting better my spirits coming back I'm feeling more sharp and we got through the thick of things bro but I'm getting close to home now so I'll cut this video short even though
No, it's not that short. It's a 15 minute video. But, you know, and I'll resume to, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of calls I'm going to take right now. And that's a little bit on hold. But I'll get back to taking those real shortly, maybe even tomorrow. Not tomorrow, probably the next day. And, Maybe even next weekend, I'm not sure. It's hard to talk right now. For long periods of time anyways.